Hey everybody, welcome back to Jones Edition. I am out Potato Creek State Park camping for a day or so. Out here with some friends and some family. I wanted to talk about my camping fridge setup. I haven't talked about it in a while. I know there's been a few questions on my previous video when I originally got the, the fridge. And I just want to kind of give a, an update. I'm not sure exactly how long. I'll put how long I've, I've had it in the description and the title and everything. But I'm going to talk about my likes and my don't likes about it. And uh, we'll, we'll go from there. All right, here we have the Domendi fridge. Um, I'm not sure exactly the model number. I'll get that on the screen for you guys. Uh, I'm trying to get the best lighting for you. Got um, 36 degrees right now. If you can't see it on the camera, pulling about 14.3 volts. I'm running on the, the max setting, which I probably need to knock it down. I'm on. Um, anyways, I'm going to drop this to the eco level here in a second. I'll show you a good shot of that here in a second, but. Um, here we got the food. I mean, it's packed full. I got a lot of waters on the bottom. I tried to take up as much room as I can, and um, less room means it's going to be colder. Uh, this thing has been awesome. I absolutely love this fridge. Uh, I have a 12 pack of Dr. Peppers in there. Uh, it's just loaded full of stuff. I got some lard, some ketchup, and uh, some ice water, some salt. I mean, it actually has got frost on the side here it's so cold um, this thing has been really really nice it keeps everything dry for the most part unless you put it in when it's wet this it stays pretty wet because there's not a lot of moisture being evaporated out of here as long as things go in dry um, I could have done a better pack job packing this but when we were packing it um, at Walmart it was absolutely pouring down and it got it probably a lot of this frost is probably from the rain but I do not camp without it. If I'm camping for a day or so, or a week or so, it doesn't really matter for me. I'm gonna bring this fridge. Uh, it's just been that great for me. I love not having ice. You know, I bring a cooler um, in the boat with ice. I like having ice on the boat for drinks and stuff like that. So I do bring ice, but that's like for boat and stuff. If I don't bring the boat, I'm just bringing this. And I usually bring like a cup of ice with me because I like to have my drinks with ice a lot of times. So that, that is a downfall that um, if you set your temperature to above freezing, you might get a little bit of ice melt. Um, if you stick your ice down here in the bottom like corner, uh, a lot of times the drinks that are in the, these corners here end up being frozen when I take them out at the end of the trip. So the ice can stay pretty cold. And you also can set this down to like... Um, zero degrees and you can actually bring like ice cream and stuff if you wanted to um, I did have my chain break um, one time what I did uh, I can't remember I actually cut off one of the balls and just kind of made it shorter so it doesn't open up as far as it did before but I fixed it pretty easy I unscrewed there's like a little screw there I can make paper out <laughs> <laughs> there's a little screw right there just like a Phillips is unscrews and that thing can pop off and you can fix it so that was a little issue that was not a big deal um, I don't really use the top parts at all it is extremely heavy for what it is I mean I don't like to lug it around you know once I set it somewhere it pretty much stays and uh, but it's pretty nice I don't really use this USB port at all to charge things I kind of just charge everything from my battery bank system um, I found that I, there's an AC plug, which is like a regular plug-in thing, and then there's like a DC plug. Um, I found that my battery bank typically works um, better when I use the AC plug than the DC plug. I don't know if it's more efficient. Um, I saw somewhere where people like definitely use the DC plug uh, on your battery bank systems because the AC uses an inverter and the fan kicks on. It uses more power, but I I found for me i'm not sure i found for me that typically the ac works a little bit better than the dc for like long extended battery times the other thing that it's kind of kind of hard to get used to is you don't want to pack a lot of your stuff that's warm like if you buy a, a 12 pack of cokes at the store and it's hot and you throw it in here on the way to your trip it's going to take hours for you to cool this down especially when you're running off battery your, your compressor is going to run a long time and you're going to run out of battery quick on your battery bank so you want to try to pre-cool everything in your cooler uh, your, your fridge here the day before or two days before or at least get it down to temperature that will save you um, hours and days on your battery bank system 
I'm gonna do a separate video on my battery bank system here but uh, this is what I run it off here this EcoFlow um, 600 which I have the max version of it now with the extra battery I'll do a video on that but I just have it plugged into the side AC port and then uh, I'm running solar to it now since we don't have the car on and I'm trying to get the charge back up um, it's not pull the compressor is already down to temperature so it's not pulling anything it pulls about 53 watts of power and uh, it's kind of cloudy today so I'm only drawing about 30 three watts of solar right now the sun keeps coming up and jumping up to 60 80 and then this this time of here will be uh reflected on that but i'll do a video on this thing this thing is filthy we've used it so many times i absolutely love this guy here so every once in a while this display thing will say f1 f2 f3 f4 whatever i lost my paper and i don't know exactly what, I, what those numbers meant so i googled it and f1 something it means something with the battery the battery is too low to run um it like it but wants to protect your battery so this is hooked up to your car the battery system is set on here there's a high medium and low setting on here which i have it on the low setting which means lower protection because i'm not hooked up to my car i don't care if my battery bank dies i need my fridge to stay cold and i'll worry about power later but if you have it on high it's going to want to protect your battery and it's going to it's going gonna, it's gonna to turn off it's going to say f1 and it's going to turn off your compressor to save your battery so be aware of that and then the other thing is um, we were camping a while back and the compressor got, I'm assuming it got hot. It was a hot day. I had this in my truck, hot in my truck. I should have had it like outside. It would have been better like in the shade, like under the truck or something or behind a tree or something. But I had it inside my truck and it just uh, got really, really hot and it gave me a code, F3, F4, something like that, which means you need to turn it off for 30 minutes, let the compressor cool down, and then uh, it'll... it'll it'll be fine after that it's all, really the only issue i had with this thing is it's kind of overheated a little bit i guess when it's shut off it protected it and uh so far i absolutely love it, it has a little light here you can see at night which is kind of nice you don't really realize how nice that is until you need it really cool uh, it's been holding up great i've used it so many times so far so that's just a quick little video review update of my camping uh, fridge. If you have any questions, shoot me a message and I'll let you guys know if I can, you know, the problems, any other issues you guys might have, if I can answer them. I'm not a professional on it at all, but I've used it quite a bit. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment below. Shoot me a message. My email's in there and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one.